The United States Postal Service. It was found out yesterday and released in a story by Yahoo News. United States Postal Service is apparently tracking social media posts as part of a clandestine program searching for inflammatory messages. Wait, the, the Postal Service has a clandestine operation going on? Mm-hmm. The program, known as Internet Covert Operations Program, or ICOP, which is perfect for the Postal Service, isn't it? ICOP! Who are you? ICOP! <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, it has not previously been made public and involves analysts combing through social media sites looking for inflammatory postings and then sharing those posts with government agencies. ICOP specifically tracks protests around the country. Hey, Stu, do you remember when we had the chain link fence up around the Capitol? Yeah, that was really nice. they said they were going to take it down, but they they threw out a date. Do you remember that date? In in March? March, yes. Mm -hmm. It's like March 20th, after March 20th. Okay, yeah, March 20th. 20th. That's right. Yeah, Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah, we're going to take that down after March 20th. And we all said, why March 20th? I cop. I cop. I found something in I cop. They specifically tracked protests around the country. They still do. March 16th, uh, they issued a government bulletin marked as law enforcement sensitive. And it showed that analysts with I cop, the Internet, the U.S. Postal Service Internet Covert Operations Program, monitored significant activity regarding planned protests occurring internationally and domestically on March 20th, 2021. Locations and times have been identified for these protests, which are being distributed online across multiple social media platforms to include right-wing leaning parlor and telegram accounts. A nationwide protest dubbed the Worldwide Rally for Freedom and Democracy was set to take place on March 20th, intended to signify displeasure with a variety of issues, including coronavirus lockdowns. Quoting the report from ICOP, parlor users have commented about their intent to use the rallies to engage in violence, the bulletin explained. Image three on the right is a screenshot from Parler indicating two users discussing the event as an opportunity to engage in a fight and to do some serious damage. So we had two users on Parler saying that they were going to use this opportunity of this rally to do some damage. Do you understand what that means, America? We had two users on Parler. It also contained screenshots about protests and includes specific names of individuals such as a member of the Proud Boys. ICOP analysts are currently monitoring social media channels for any potential threats stemming from scheduled protests and will disseminate intelligence updates as needed. ICOP signing off. Okay. Now, do you remember... When you bought your stamp, uh, authorizing the U.S. Postal Service (laughs) to have any kind of covert Internet operations. I don't remember that being part of the implied contract with the stamp, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I was a kid and I watched um, uh, Mr. Rogers... I did have my suspicions about Mr. McFeely, (laughs) but it did not have anything to do with covert operations for his post office job. Uh, The USPS did not immediately respond. However, they did issue a statement. They provided a general statement to Yahoo News about the authority, listen to this, about the authority it has to monitor the social media presence of U.S. citizens. What authority does the Postal Service have to monitor the Internet? That's like saying, I'm the uh, bakery police. 
And I'm in charge of all bakeries and uh, all of the felonies that happen in bakeries. But I do have a, a covert op uh, at the uh, Victoria Secret. Uh, counter and uh, what goes on in their changing rooms. I would be what shocked you- if Mr. McFeely worked there. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> maybe not Toys R Us. Right. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> here is the response from the Postal Service um, explaining their authority to monitor the social media presence of U.S. citizens. Quote The U.S. Postal Inspection Service is the primary law enforcement crime prevention, and security arm of the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. As such, the U.S. Postal Inspection Service has federal law enforcement officers, postal inspectors, who enforce approximately 200 federal laws to achieve the agency's mission to protect the U.S. Postal Service and its employees, infrastructure, and customers enforce the laws that defend the nation's mail system from illegal or dangerous use and ensure public trust in the mail. Okay, I didn't see anything about covert ops uh, on the internet and monitoring U.S. citizens. I didn't see any of that, but I did see ensure public trust in the mail, and I don't think this works to help you on that one. I cop. Everyone should be writing their senator and their congressman today and say, I cop? What the hell is I cop? In fact, in fact, I want you to tweet and Facebook post, I support the police. I question deeply, hashtag I cop. Hashtag I support the police. But I question deeply, hashtag ICOP. Shouldn't you? Uh, hello? Hello? Is anybody home? The Postal Service is now spying on you. But no big deal, right? No big deal. No big deal. Um, by the way, have you seen Nextdoor? Do you even know what Nextdoor is, Stu? Yeah, it's like an app, right, where you can kind of see what's going on in your local community. Right, Mm -hmm. right, right. And so you just want to see what's going on next door. It's a little like the covert op uh, that the Postal Service apparently is running. I'm just saying, but if you want to find out what's going on in your neighborhood, just ask ICOP. (laughs) Just ask your post office. You know, they know everything. Next door is basically like, hey, this random person stole a package and I caught it on my ring app or whatever. Isn't it that type of stuff? Mm. Like or, you know, uh, there's someone I that looks suspicious in this part of town. Like it's that Mm. isn't that Mm -hmm. part of it? Mm -hmm. I don't use it. So neither do I. What a surprise. But um, I so appreciate uh, what uh, next door has done now. Um, They have a new anti-racism notification. Ooh, okay. Which will ask you to reconsider posting content if the app thinks it's offensive. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's a, you know, they had the kindness reminder, which I appreciate. I do. But now, I mean, you might be a little racist. You want to rethink that? Um, you know, for instance, uh, the, the phrase, blue lives matter. This Hold on, it says, if you've. Try to post something and you have the uh, the uh, next door app. It says, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. The phrase blue lives matter can be hurtful to people of color. Consider uh, editing uh, before you publish. Um, no, no, it can't be hurtful. There's nothing. There's no way that a phrase blue lives matter hurts anyone. It doesn't hurt anyone. Are you still listening to your mother? Yeah. Those sticks and stones. Yeah. Your mom was wrong. <laughs> Your mom was, was wrong. She one. is part of the white supremacist <laughs> systematic <laughs> system that keeps people down. Mm. The phrase, hold on. The phrase, all lives matter, can be hurtful of people of color. Consider editing before no, you publish. No, because there, no, people of color's lives are included in the all. <sighs> they cannot be hurtful. Hold, it can't be hurtful. Hold on. It's impossible hold for it to on. be hurtful. Hold on, says the Nextdoor app. 
Your post contains a word or phrase that many find hurtful. Continue, uh, consider editing before you publish. Okay, I would just like to, I mean, I, if I got that one, I wouldn't have any idea what word, I mean, which word. I mean, now, everything. So I don't know which word. You have to be, hold on next door. Can you be more specific? Because the entire world is insane. What did you learn with your algorithm that's offensive today that wasn't offensive yesterday? Hold on. But thank you, Next Door, for helping me monitor myself. I'm not capable of doing that. Thank you. Hey, by the way, Next Door, could you just store all this information for me? Because I might want to look at all of the hateful things that I almost sent. Please store all that information for me. You know what? Just put it in an envelope and send it to the postal inspector. Ah, you know what? You don't even need an envelope. He's already got it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. You know what we don't use on the Internet? I'm trying to figure out. Envelopes. Stamps. Postal workers. Huh. Isn't that weird? It's almost like email isn't mail. It's like a communication device that has nothing to do with the old-timey mail service. But I understand why they're monitoring the Internet. If you don't, maybe today is a good day to tweet. Hashtag, I stand with the police. I deeply question... Hashtag ICOP. Why this story isn't everywhere? Well, I know why this story isn't everywhere. I know why this story isn't everywhere. Uh, Because uh, it's the, I mean, it is the job of the government to protect us and keep us all safe from everything. And they are never, ever going to do something. 